Hey guys, this is Chris with Kingship Tech. Thanks for coming to the channel. This is a channel all about tech gear for the amateur user. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more videos. Today's video is all about a product review from a company called Fine Fine Technology. Now, if you haven't seen my other video, I did a, a review on their wireless mic system. You can see that here or here. I think it's here. This one, they sent out to me a podcast kit. Full disclosure, they sent it to me so I can give an honest review. There is no script to talk about it. This is just me wanting to give you my thoughts on a budget-friendly podcast kit. And so, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing, and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about this microphone and show you how it works. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attach it to the desk using the desk mount. It came with two mounts, which is really nice. One for if I want a tabletop, a little tripod for that. And then it also came with a clamp for the desk, which I'm going to go ahead and install and see how easy it is. Again, if I can do it, anybody can do it, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and show right now. Alright, so looking at the instructions, we're going to mount this to the, to the table first. Okay, so just unscrew it. So we'll mount it here. Screw it onto the table. All right, check. Now we're going to just put it right in there. This piece right here screws into this piece right here. And then we're just going to go right into it. And these are all like tension arm, like held in place by tension arms. I can move that down. All right, then the microphone has also an attachment like this as well, threaded. That is actually for the tripod. You unscrew this adapter. If you're not gonna use the tripod, it looks like you need to take this off. Slide it in there. All right, so that goes in there, and then there's a lock ring. Foam, pop that foam on there. Not too bad. And then all the cords for that. That is the setup we just put it together. You can adjust this any way you want. You can move this arm. Like, ooh, that goes up pretty far. I don't know if you could see that. Way out there. And you can move it like this, and it seems pretty good, adjustable. You can move it this way or that way. And then you can tighten it if you don't want it to move. But it looks like it has a swivel on it, so that's good. All right, well, that is that. Now we're going to go ahead and plug it in and see how it sounds, and then we'll go from there. So let's move on. All right, so I have it all hooked up, and uh, here's basically the rundown of what you're gonna do. So it comes with a cord, and the cord is gonna go to the back of your computer. I have an iMac, and uh, basically once you plug it in the back of the iMac, it automatically detects uh, a external microphone. The other thing is you have to, to have a recording software of some sort on your computer to be able to record it. I opened up GarageBand on the iMac, which every, Apple device comes with. So you can record in GarageBand to get all your audio on there or you can also download a third-party app which I downloaded. Voice Recorder HD is also free and that seemed to work just fine as well. But let's go and do some comparisons. I have the microphone on the Canon RP connected right in there and it is the Comica VM10 version 2 which is a very good microphone and it seems to, I like it actually a little bit better than the Rode Video Micro. But we're going to go ahead and use uh, the comparison from a distance. So this is, you know, I'm about an arm's length away. I can touch the lens right here uh, from the camera. And so you're hearing my voice just like this. 
Maybe you might be able to pick up some background noise. My boys are sleeping, uh, taking a nap, and so there's a sound machine going in the background. Uh, but I'm going to go and compare it to that, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit record on the, this microphone right here and see if it sounds better. Uh, so we're going to record. So now we're recording on the microphone, the Fine Fine Microphone podcast kit. And then, uh, so this is my voice, what it sounds like. I'm not too far away from it. And this uh, volume on the microphone itself is set at 50% or halfway up. Uh, so that's what it sounds like. You can adjust the volume, which is really nice from this uh, mic. Now, what I heard about other mic, uh, podcast mics is you tend to need like a amplifier of some sort to boost your levels to be able to get anywhere with your voice. Uh, this one, I don't know. I'm not sure about what it is, how it's made to be able to boost levels, but it plugs right into the computer. So let's switch back to the camera right now and you'll hear the differences um, of my voice. I haven't changed, I haven't moved anything, so it's going to be a pretty good comparison between the two. Uh, I, this is a definite budget-friendly podcast mic if you wanted to get started with a podcast, if you wanted to do YouTube, and this is a, the, the studio shots of the microphone. This is primarily what it's going to be used for for me. And uh, yeah, so let's go switch back to this microphone. I'm back now to this, uh, and I think the audio is very, very good, very decent. Uh, I have no complaints about it right now. Uh, I'm sure you can adjust the volume or even enhance it or uh, play with it. Post in editing, I don't do a lot of that because I'm, am, uh, I'm, I'm all about speed. I like to get stuff out in a timely manner. So this is what it sounds like, the comparison between the two. I hope that uh, helps you when you're deciding if you would want to get something like this. I'm very happy with it so far, uh, and let's continue, and I'm going to give maybe final thoughts uh, a little bit later. So let's go. All right, so I went ahead and listened to the audio from the mic, the podcast kit, and the mic on the camera, the Comica. And I really like the Comica, but honestly, this mic right here, the Fine Fine podcast kit, sounds really good. I'm actually, I'm super surprised at how good it sounds for it being just a budget-friendly microphone. So after listening to it, I, I really, really like it. I think that this is an honestly a really good option if you're wanting to go ahead and start a podcast for your, either with your friends or you want a, uh, a better audio solution for your studio or for the office like me uh, if you're doing YouTube. And uh, it's going to be a huge, huge benefit because actually what I'm showing you right now, the view, I haven't been able to do in the office before because the camera would have to be really far away and it's further away I can't touch I can't even reach the uh, lens from where I'm sitting and normally it's right up in my face to be able to get good audio from the microphone up there but it's at 35 millimeters and I actually really like that view because then I don't have to have everything perfect around me because that ultra wide 17 millimeter uh, or 16 millimeter you're going to get everything in the shot and you have to make sure your studio looks perfect so this is a benefit I actually like the compression that I'm seeing on this and and uh, the nice thing is the microphone is out of frame, but I'm able to use it, and uh, I really like that. And I think this view right here looks pretty good to me. So the pros and cons, I want to go ahead and go over those real quick and to go ahead and end this video, uh, and let's, let's go into that right now. This is a budget-friendly, like I said. It's $56 on Amazon, which I'm going to leave the link down below. And then uh, it, with that $56, you're really getting a lot. You're getting an entire kit that comes with everything that you would need to get started. It comes with two Two different uh, uh, two different mounting options one to go on the desk and one with a tripod that you can go right on the tabletop and do your recording that way it comes with the cords to plug into the back of your computer or your laptop and it is extremely easy to get recognized on your computer on my iMac it recognized it instantly and all I had to do was pull up a recording software which I'm using GarageBand right now on my iMac and uh, it's it's working just fine. Another pro is that it comes with it has 
it has this volume adjustment right here on the microphone and that is really nice if I want to adjust the gain to be quieter or louder to pick up my voice depending if I want to be really quiet I can turn this up and that way it pick my voice up or vice versa if I'm going to be singing into this thing I can turn it down because my volume is going to be louder um, so that with that being said it's really nice it comes with everything and the con I don't know there's not really anything I can say about it that is a negative for what you get. Maybe the stand is a little bit not high quality or cheaper. I'm not sure. It's working just fine for me. I, uh, I, I have no complaints about it. The only complaint is when I, the way I do my videos and my editing, if I, 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 I don't like syncing my audio later. And so in some cases, like with Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, it's really easy, but my software that I use is not easy to do. I'll get over it because I think the audio sounds better between this, you know, this and the camera. That's it for right now. That's that's all I got. I really like it. I think you guys would like it. It's super simple and easy to use. Highly recommend it. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos. And uh, if you liked it, like it like always. And remember, go click on the link down below if you want to look at the product. So I'll see you guys in the next video.